I'm Amy Beers and today on Drinking With Beers, I am taking you behind the scenes to Sun King Brewery to see how one of my favorite fall time beers is made, the Caramel Apple Triple. So last year around this time in September, I was visiting Sun King for an event and they didn't have the beer that I had originally planned to get. But you know, sometimes disappointment leads to better opportunities. So as I looked down the menu to pick another beer, I spotted the Caramel Apple Triple, and I was like, what? Uh, yes please, could I please have some of that? And oh my God, you guys, I can still remember the first time it touched my lips. It was like my soul was suddenly transported to this heavenly apple orchard and everything was covered in gold and there was this stream of caramel just winding its way around the apple trees. And I'm pretty sure I died for a second. And then I'm pretty sure the second sip brought me back to life. That's how good this beer is. So the Caramel Apple Triple, they only make in very small quantities. It's part of their King's Reserve series. So last year when I introduced the Caramel Apple Triple to my sister, she became just as obsessed, if not more obsessed, than I am about this beer. And I'm pretty sure she plans to buy the entire supply. So you're gonna wanna get this before it's gone, I'm just saying. So the Caramel Apple Triple starts off as a Belgian triple style ale, and then it's aged in Jamaican rum barrels. And then, it has the addition of Indiana grown caramelized apples. It is amazing. And I will let Andrew over at Sun King tell us more about how it's made. I'm the wood cellar manager for Sun King Brewing Company, and today we are going to talk about Caramel Apple Triple. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect, all right. So today we're gonna to talk about Caramel Apple Triple. Caramel Apple Triple is a barrel-aged Belgian triple with uh, caramelized apples that are coated in brown sugar and cinnamon. So with this beer, how it starts out basically is it starts out actually as a Belgian triple base. We use a Belgian yeast strain. We use seven different yeast strains that come from all over Belgium. Uh, that's why we call it 777, touched by an angel. And then we'll ferment it for about a month, let it do its thing, hang out, kind of settle out, and then we'll filter it. And then put it into fresh Jamaican rum barrels. After about 12 to 13 months, then the beer comes out of barrels, and then we put it on to apples. So take the apples, cut them in brown sugar and cinnamon, and then we brew lay them with a massive blowtorch, which is freaking awesome. And then add them to the beer, and then, uh, yeah, then we'll take and carbonate it, and then package it. It's amazing because each barrel tells a different story. The oak that we chose for, is uh, Jamaican rum barrels. We'll have one rum barrel that's like way coconut and then one that's like more pushing vanilla and like baking spice. Bourbon barrels do the same thing. There's never, even though there's millions of bourbon barrels down in Kentucky, each barrel tells its own story and gives its own flavor profile. So it's another thing that we do in this process is we figure out like which barrels we really like and then we save those and we don't do anything to them. We just keep them as natural as possible. See, the first time we ever made this beer was because we were tasting beers for the Great American Beer Festival, and I happened to pull a sample of it, and we tasted it, and we're like, you know what this needs? It needs apples. They're probably coated in brown sugar and cinnamon. <laughs> and then we just ran with it, so it just, it was just kind of the way that we create things, like over here is a creative development, and it just went completely uh, into becoming a lot triple. <laughs> The brew laying process is one of my favorite just because it takes and completely um, just engulfs this area over here in our barrel aging warehouse uh, with cinnamon, apple, um, baking spice. It just, it smells ridiculous. <laughs> it's like this beautiful like apple character um, and then we just play off of that character. So a lot of our beers we'll do that with. We're like, oh wow, that has a lot of coconut. Let's add 
vanilla and other things to it, or you know, it's just the way that it's the beer. The beer wants more, so we try to try to give it what it needs and send it on its merry way. <laughs> so basically, what you're gonna get when you open up a, a container uh, and you pour it into a glass is you're gonna get vanilla from the barrel character. You're gonna get coconut. You're gonna get um, a really nice like baking spice character from the barrel, and then you're gonna get a baking spice character from the actual apples because we put brown sugar and brulee it with cinnamon. So then you'll get uh, apple and then a really nice sweetness to help with the higher alcohols. The Sears is about 11 and a half to 12% alcohol. Uh, and then you'll get a really nice base beer character. And then obviously with the apples and everything and the cinnamon and baking spice, like you know, it plays, the whole thing plays so well together. <laughs> So yeah, you'll get, um, you'll be able to definitely taste like the barrel characteristics too. So we like to put things in balance as well. It's, it's that Belgian triple base, aged in rum barrels, and then with apples. So yeah, it's pretty awesome. <laughs>try this yet it is amazing if you haven't tried it or even if you have you can drink this along with me in next week's guided tasting video but you're gonna want to make sure to purchase this before it's gone because seriously guys it's a limited release and it's gonna go fast so in next week's video i'll be walking you through a guided tasting of the caramel apple triple and another one of my favorites from sun king brewery for the fall time is the wee mac which they have all year round, but I especially love to drink it this time of the year because it also has those really nice caramel notes. And while the Caramel Apple Triple and the Wee Mac both have caramel notes, they actually get them in different ways, which I'll be discussing briefly in next week's Guided Tasting video. So if you like this video and you wanna be notified when I post the Guided Tasting, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm Amy Beers, thanks for watching, and I look forward to drinking with you. Cheers. Cheers.